What's up, y'all? This your girl, Miss Maggie T with Atlanta Falcons Nation. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button so you won't miss another post from me. But let's go ahead and get into these updates. It looks like the Falcons have selected this morning their captains of the season. And that includes Jake Matthews, Matt Ryan, Kevin Ridley, Grady Jarrett, and Deion Jones. And of course, Arthur Smith stated he allowed the players to vote. And, you know, that's who they went with. Not a surprising list there. As well as, as far as the injury report, it looks like cornerback Kenneth Sheffield is now officially listed on that injury reserve list. Now, of course, they're not listing what his injury is, but of course, he has been bothered by a foot injury since last season and even has been seen in the walking boot earlier this year. And of course, he hasn't been um, playing for quite some time and he actually was inactive for the first three weeks of the season as well and also was listed as um the third cornerback throughout the first preseason game under off of smith so you know it is what it is as well as linebacker brandon copeland who plays inside and outside um actually was participating somewhat in practice but now it looks like he's officially listed as limited so maybe he tweaked something there but it doesn't seem like it's too big of a concern at this moment so we'll see how that plays out as well as the falcons also released punter dom maggio from the injured reserve list with an injury settlement now in addition to that tony gonzalez spoke out about Kyle Pitts, and you already know that he is a former Falcons tight end, beloved player, Hall of Famer. You know, he has some kind words to say about Pitts, and he stated, I anticipate him having a better than average rookie year because Matt Ryan has the history with good tight ends. He also stated that obviously myself, Austin Hooper, he knows how to get the ball to the tight end. He knows how to draw up a play to get a tight end open, especially using, utilizing Matt's strengths. Where does Matt like to throw the ball? Also, I think Cal is going to have an outstanding year. He's got Calvin Ridley on the other side to take the pressure off because he'll be the number one option, it looks like. He'll get a lot of one-on-one -on -one matchups and when he's covered, he's not covered. It's kind of like when I played there. Matt, the first thing he said was, where do you like the ball? I like it up here. Throw it high. Let me go get that thing. And that is definitely what Tony Gonzalez definitely did for, for the Falcons. I love watching every moment of it. He also is actually happy that his former teammate, Justin Peel, is Pitt's position coach. How ironic is that? Um, and they said that makes me more confident that he's going to have. He paused went to the next he said justin did a great job with zach Ertz and helped his career take off he's going to do the same thing for cal we're definitely hoping so with that as well as he also mentioned coach smith he said he is great um to have um spitz is great to have off of smith as a coach because smith also was a tight end coach as we all know and we definitely know how much uh off of smith love his tight ends <laughs> He also stated that um, Arthur Smith is a play calling guru. I love the way he came in and established himself right away, making an unpopular decision and trading away Julio Jones. Let me go that name again. I think he's a guy who's going to do it his way. He's going to go out there and have great success. He also stated for me, Justin Peel, that makes me happy that he's going to be in that room with Cal. He also said Kyle is in for a great career. I think a big thing that's really important is how you start your career. Who do you surround yourself with at the beginning kind of sets the tone. He's also stated, you learn how to do it the right way from the beginning. You got a guy who's going to hold you accountable. Justin Peel will hold Kyle Pitts accountable. There's going to be no diva treatment there. It's going to be like, this is how you do it. I'm not here to baby you. You're going to be better for it. That gives me a lot of confidence that Kyle is going to be great. And in addition to Justin Peel, you already know Arthur Smith don't play any of that. He's also holding his players accountable. So it's great to have um, Peel on there to kind of influence that even more. I'm just loving they dropped that brotherhood. We're going back to the Dirty Bird time. This is going to be a very exciting, exciting time. Even uh, Michael Vick and others are going to be having like a pep rally at Atlantic Station this Friday. 
man, they're hyping it so much up, especially with that section with Pastor Troy, etc. This is going to be an electrifying time for the city of Atlanta. And I want all our fans to come out and show out. Stand up. Cheer. Don't sit down. Let's show them that the Falcons have a big fan base. You know what I'm saying? But until that's all I got for you guys. Um, till the next time, this is Maggie T. The Atlanta Falcons Nation. And we are the nation. And we do have a special treat. We have our West Coast um, crew members. They are new to the scene. They're going to be having a, um, a show actually tonight at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But, of course, it's their time zone for them. So 8 o'clock for them. But 11 p.m. for the Eastern Standard Time. People, please tune into that if you're still up. And they will definitely be on every Wednesday so I'm looking forward to that as well but that's all I got for you guys once again and I'm out peace